Hey guys, I'm Brenda Song, and tonight let's go through my nighttime routine and get ready with bed with me. Let's get ready with bed. Wow! And get ready for bed with me. So, I'm gonna warn you guys, I am a huge skincare junkie. Number one, my mom's always loved skincare, so I've had one since I was really young. But I think also growing up on sets, I always had tons of makeup on, so I've always had to be really diligent about my skincare because one, I'm very sensitive and acne prone skin. I mean, I'm an adult and I still struggle with acne today, so. Let's do this. First thing I do, of course, is cleanse. Um, I will say this, I have never gone to bed without cleansing my skin. I can truly say that. No matter how tired I am, no matter how crazy of a night I've had, I will always wash my face and I double cleanse always. So my first step is um, this Tatcha Camellia Oil. I've been using this for years. It's one of the very few things that can get all this makeup off. So let's do this. You're supposed to put it on to dry skin and it's really weird. I'm still not used to it. It still feels really bizarre, but here we go. Oh, I've always struggled with my skin and I feel like it took all of my 20s to sort of figure out what worked for me. And I finally feel like I got to a really good place and then I got pregnant. And everything changes when you're pregnant. You realize and you find out that you can't use anything. Everything is bad for your, your face apparently. All right, ooh. Um, and this is a new thing that I've been using. It's like one of these like little face things. This is like the face halo. My makeup artist um, on set told me I needed to stop scrubbing on my face so much. So once I had this cleanser on, I just wet this guy. And this is what I like take off all this makeup with. And I think, I think you're only supposed to use water with this, but I use it with my cleanser. Hey, whatever works, right? All right, next step. Um, I go in with another cleanser. This is also a Tatcha one. I, I discovered Tatcha when I was pregnant because you can use virtually everything in their line um, when you're pregnant because they have very clean ingredients, um, nothing too harmful. And it didn't uh, agitate my skin, which was a huge deal because again, I break out when I use everything. All right, double cleanse. This is my favorite step because I feel like as much as I love wearing makeup and I love getting ready, there is nothing like taking it all off. Look, I did that first cleanse and there's still makeup on my face. Gotta double cleanse, people, gotta double cleanse. All right. I don't know about you guys, but I am a person that when I wash my face, I get water everywhere. Is that just me? Probably, I'm very clumsy. And these are something I also discovered during, um, because I have a son, these little muslin cloths that I use for his bath, they're good enough for my son's butt. They should be good enough for my face. Now, again, because I wear so much makeup, like on set, I have to tone after this to just take off everything. And one of the things that I like actually love are, it's like a, it's my little splurge because I feel like cotton pads are just cotton pads. But I found these like Shiseido ones that are like fluffy little clouds that make this step really wonderful. And I think when it comes to skincare, it's all about taking care of yourself, taking the time out of your day to just like spend 15 minutes, 20 minutes, whatever, five minutes, um, just taking care of yourself. So I think it's, that's really, really important. You really forget, especially in these first few months of taking care of another human, it's all about them as it should be. But you have to realize that if you don't take care of yourself and be good to yourself, you can't be good to your baby, your, your partner, your family, whoever. Um, so yeah, and look, Guys, I double cleanse and I'm toning and there's still makeup on here. So much makeup. Next step is I love this uh, La Mer treatment lotion. It's like a water. I felt when I first used this, everyone recommended it to me and it felt like I was just putting, I was like, I'm, I'm putting expensive water on my face. Is it doing anything? Guys, it does. It does. If anything, whether it's placebo, it just makes me feel, oh, it also smells amazing. Oh, it just makes me feel like I'm putting really expensive spa water on my face. And I will say afterwards, my skin feels so much softer. Oh, we have a bogey, okay. a mess guys, a mess. Um, but yeah, I love this. So it was just, you just press it into your skin and sort of let it soak in. And um, when I used to do my nights, uh, my nighttime skin routine, I used to always take this time to like listen to a book or like listen to a podcast. I'm very big on like, multitasking, but nowadays, um, it's just the white noise from a <laughs> yeah, baby monitor. It's calming now, it's calming knowing that my child's asleep. 
Next up is serum. And I will say this about like my skincare in general. I actually have a ton of different products and I sort of just use what my skin needs like in this moment, this like tonight. Um, and I also feel like I have to switch it up because I feel like my skin gets used to certain products and it like kind of stops working. So I kind of switch it out every couple of months to just Again, this could be all placebo. I don't know what I'm talking about. I just love products. This is another find that I found um, because of a, a, of a castmate of mine, Shay Mitchell. She loves this active serum and she has the most beautiful skin. So of course I had to try it. And of course she was right. It's wonderful. It's again, like water. So I just use a few drops <clears throat> and I just like press it into my skin. And the thing about this, this serum, and I feel like because of this, I feel like it's working. Your face kind of stings when it like hits your face. Um, so it has to be doing something, right? <laughs> For about three times a week, I like to use retinol. Um, and this is something that I just started doing like a couple years ago um, because I'm 33 guys. The struggle is real. So I started using retinol and I started with this brand called Obaji. For me, it's all about um, exfoliating constantly and like resurfacing because I gap, I have a lot of melanin in my skin. So even if I have a pimple and I don't touch it, I don't pick it, I don't do anything, it will scar, it will leave a mark. I actually, um, when I was pregnant, I was really, really worried about melasma. So I did not go outside basically my entire pregnancy um, because I was so scared of it. My poor garden, like it missed me so much because I refused to go outside. I had like the biggest hat on. I would like, have an umbrella because I was so scared of melasma. And you know what? I don't have any because I stayed inside and I used tons of sunscreen, tons and tons of sunscreen. My next step, <laughs> I go to eye cream. And again, I have a couple different that I love, but right now, because um, the weather is changing and it's getting colder out, my skin is a little more dehydrated. So I've been loving this um, uh, Hourglass Equilibrium. I didn't even know they did skincare, but I love this. It's like a balm. So it's not like a cream, but it's really hydrating, but it doesn't clog my pores or like um, irritates my skin at all. Of course, it's the pat, 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 pat. I realized that also halfway through like my 20s, I was doing my skincare all wrong. I was like, I wasn't padding enough. I wasn't like going upwards enough. I was like, it's all about the upwards motion, the gua sha, the like all the rollers. I do that more during the day. Um, and also now just because I don't have time. Um, so yeah, so now it's like hands, 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 pressing upwards, no wrinkles, uplifting, uplifting. Next, and almost my final step. We're almost there, guys, we're almost there. Thank you for sticking with me, is my moisturizer. And I alternate between an oil or like a thicker cream, but again, because I'm a little drier right now, and I've been using this for years. It's also by Revive. It's called the Moisturizing Renewal Cream Supreme. It's just so luxurious, it like, it smells wonderful and I wake up the next day and my skin just feels so hydrated and so plump. Now let's just take like a pea size amount of everything and upwards, upwards guys, upwards, upwards. I feel like my mom's gonna watch this and be like, you did everything wrong. <laughs> I'm trying mom, I'm trying. No, my mom is so great. She loves skincare. So she's one of the, like, I've had a skincare routine since I was like 10, just like going, oh, you know, like learning how to like, cleanse and moisturize my skin. Nothing big, but it was something we would do together. Like we would, at the end of the night while she was getting ready, like I'd be like on like the mid dad sink, like doing it with her. It just be, kind of came our thing and it's still our thing. So moisturize, I have to do lips. I love this uh, 24 um, Camellia lip balm by like Tatcha. I don't know, any old lip balm will do, but I need all the moisture. Also, usually I have a big water bottle here because I'm always trying to drink water. That's like a huge thing for my skin is just to stay hydrated, drink lots and lots and lots of water. And when you think you've had enough, drink some more. And one of the things that I, because I'm breaking out, I have found this thing the last couple of years, little pimple patches um, where they're like little stickers. Like I have a pimple right here. So I, they're like these little stickers that are like salicylic acid, you pop them on, but I just found these. They're the same brand. They're by Star Starface. They're Sesame Street. How cute are these? And it's so funny because as I've been using these, my son loves Sesame Street. 
So he was staring at my face one night. He's like, oh my gosh, he like recognizes me. He loves me so much. And he kept reaching for my face. I was like, oh, like kissy, kissy. And my boyfriend came in, he realized, he's like, honey, he's doing that because you have Elmo on your face. <laughs> I was very sad. So there goes my little star, my little pimple. I think it's really fun to go to bed with a bunch of stickers on your face. It's a great way to celebrate your pimple. Normally what I would do next is put my hair up or braid it, um, but I'd usually moisturize my body, have a nice like cup of warm tea and like getting into bed as early as possible because I realize now my skin really reflects how much sleep I'm getting. And guys, that is my nighttime skin routine. Thank you so much for watching. And make sure to check out Dollface coming February, 2022, only on Hulu.